We are going to have a look at Nex on the main account. So the group Iron Nen account cannot do Nex because there is no individual sessions on it. And uh, that way you are going to lose your prestige if you go in. So we are deciding to do it on main account instead. And first off I have to get the completed frozen key. That is the last key piece and we are now going to combine it and get into the next room. I am by the way going to do this probably in a mass with uh, Dovidas and Max Nick. We are the only people in our group Iron Man team that do have mains with good stats. So it's going to be interesting to do but that is the frozen key. Decided to go and buy an Ancient Blessing before going in, so I do not have aggro on all the minions when I want to get the kill count. The kill count is actually very fast, so I'm not going to get ecumenical keys, but they do work if you want to use them. Once you have the key, insert it into the frozen door and you actually lose the key, so you do not have to ever bring it again, which is very nice. When you get in here, you have to talk to this NPC right here, and it is going to start a small uh, transition phase. I already did this on my group Iron Man, and that is why I know that. But you can't actually open the door here even before you do that, so that is something you have to do. And this is actually going to be the banker at next as well. So when I said the KC is fast, if I kill one of these minions, which is actually very fast to kill, as you can see, it is actually going to not give me one KC, but five. And that is a new item as well, Ancient Brew. They are not that good, I don't think, but uh, it is a new item at least to see, which is pretty cool. But yeah, you literally only have to kill eight of these and you can enter next. So ecumenical keys are not really worth it in my opinion. Now if you're wondering what the Ancient Brew is, it is basically a mini prayer potion inside of a magic potion. So I don't have any magic bonus, you can see that on the boosts on the left here. And I have 60 prayer points, I drink it and I get 70 prayer and also my magic is now 105. And it drains my attack and strength. But you should definitely be killing the majors because the rangers, the blood reavers and the warriors only give 3 kill accounts. And uh, I think the majors are by far the easiest to kill as well. When you are inside, talk to the NPC again and you can ask her to actually access your bank. So if you do that, you can then bank at this area. And if you would die at next, this is where you would reclaim your items. So the first setup I'm going to be trying is the full crystal armor with the bow of Feradinen. And uh, this is going to be very interesting. I have no idea what to expect. Dovidas is going to join us here with uh, Max Nick as well. You can see Berserkers is Max Nick. He's on my friend list and a friend too is standing very close to me right now, which is of course Dovidas. The boss has 3400 HP. It has the four minions in the corners and I am assuming it's going to be every fourth uh, part of the HP. It is going to be a minion we have to kill and look at how many people are here. Also Nex actually puts a debuff on a player that spreads to other players which you can see above the head of them. It says cough and this actually drains your stats and prayers by quite a lot rapidly and uh, it is very hard to get rid of in a group so you're going to have to expect to have a massive drain on your prayer and stats over the course of the entire fight. Luckily the fight is pretty fast in masses like this with so many people it's only like two and a half mini kills to three minutes but in masses you're going to basically have to just spam super stores when this happens so you can keep your prayer up and your stats it is uh, quite a hassle but it is what it is in small groups in the future it is not going to be like this because if one person that gets the debuff on them just spreads away from everyone else it is going to be gone and uh, that is basically how you deal with it okay oh, there it I is just, yeah, there's the the uh, other prayer torva Oh, I got... I uh, got... A, uh, yeah, shards. Ecumenical key shards. And super restores and brews. Oh, I got brews as well, yeah. so... Can we just stay in here then? Yeah. Yeah. After a couple of kills using the Bow of Feradinen, I did want to try out the Ruby Bolts Enchanted here because they can hit up to 100 on the boss. And in masses like this, if you do manage to get one Ruby Bolt spec in, which I did right there, you could see the XP drop of 1000. But uh, there was too many hits on the boss, so you couldn't see it. But uh, that actually gives you a better chance of loot. And look at that. I got Nihil Shards from that one and a lot of supplies as well. So that is a unique item. It is not worth a lot, most likely. 
I think it's used to make the ancient brews, which are untradeable potions. So kind of interesting. I will sell them at the end. So as I said before, the uh, next coffee mechanic drains your stats and prayer. And uh, as you can see, I'm trying the mage setup now with the ranged, which means my magic is the highest stats. So it's only going to drain my magic stats. I've seen quite a lot of people do this in masses, but I'm not really sure how good it is. So I ended up doing around three kills with this setup and uh, I can definitely optimize. I mean, if I had some ancestral items, I could maybe bring some more range to damage items but um, my experience from three kills with this setup is it's nice that uh, your range stats doesn't uh, drain so you don't have to chug as many restores but at the end of the day I felt like I was splashing my hits like all the time because I have so bad accuracy and Nex has very high defense so I basically 100% just relied on getting ruby bolt specs which uh, I mean it is a decent strategy if you get lucky you're going to get the MVP most likely and it's more relaxed but uh, if you want to have more consistent hits I would still run with the ranged setup personally and yes this is only for masses it is not going to be a val valid strategy for uh, groups in the future like smaller groups of three four people. So I'm up to 12 KC now on the boss and you can see I have 21 essence on the top left here my kill count is 21 now, if I hop worlds after getting a kill, for example, and I'm out of supplies, I can just um, equip my Ancient Blessing when I come out here. You're going to spawn in this area, and of course, I didn't get it equipped in time. But uh, you still have the 21 KC. You can get new KC right here, and then just enter the door where there is the bank, and you can go again. But yeah, I'm not going to do much more in this video. I just wanted to jump into Nex on my main account and try it out a bit, show it off to you guys, and that's about it. But uh, I have some plans for my group Iron Man when it comes to some interesting stuff that revolves around this new update. So that's going to be nice to show you guys in my next video. But uh, as I said, I sold the Nihil shards and I put them in for 100k each and they instantly sold. So let's see what they actually sold for. They sold for about double that amount, so like 200k each. Which is very interesting because I think it's literally only made or used to make the potions that are kind of useless. But yeah, I don't say no to 600k. But thanks anyways for watching this short video about the next update. I am going to go back on my group Iron Man and hopefully within the week we are going to be able to do a next as a 5 man on the group Iron Man team. Because I mean that's kind of what we were waiting for this entire time. Just unfortunate that the first day every single world basically has like 50 people in it. So we can't do it. But uh, hopefully it's going to be a bit more empty soon. But until next time guys, take care.